How many people think that Descartes is weird thus far? Okay, one, that's, that's okay. Um, you're going to be joined by the rest of your classmates in a minute. So you're not, you've got the front seat, but you called shotgun, but that's about all you've got right now. Um, he said, what, what if? Just, what if? I think he says, all that we know about God is a fable, and instead of there being an all-powerful, loving being, perhaps, what if there is some all-powerful, malign being that is focused, has nothing better to do with today, <coughs> but to focus all of his attention on me to get me to think something that isn't true? If there was an all-powerful being, could he think, make you think that 2 plus 2 equals 4 when in fact it's actually 5? Yeah. Okay, he's all powerful, he can do anything. This is what we call his evil genius conjecture. You agree that this is evil genius conjecture? No. Oh. Oh, okay. This evil genius conjecture. What if there is an all powerful being that has focused? What if there is an all powerful being that has focused? His attention on deceiving me this being could make me think that 2 plus 2 equals 4 when in fact it is 5 do you get me to believe that 2 plus 2 equals 5 when it is in fact 4, or 4 when it is in fact 5. I don't remember which way I said it last time. Likewise, you can convince me I didn't know it because all of my all of my being is being deceived by this all-powerful demon, this all-powerful what would be God, except it's just not a very nice guy and has nothing better to do with his life. Yeah. Okay, I have a question. But doesn't make any sense to me because something that has three sides is always going to have three sides. A triangle, by definition, has three sides. So if the mm -hmm. triangle actually had four sides, then it wouldn't be a triangle anymore anyway. So what's the point? Well. You're telling me about how you define a triangle, correct? Your definition of a triangle is wrong. Well, that's just language. It doesn't apply to the concept of triangle. Well, you have this concept of, of an idea that you're calling something, but really, we're all thinking you're absolutely crazy for saying that they have three sides because, okay, raise your hand if you know that a triangle has four sides. Come on, okay, we've got a couple of bright people here, and the rest of you have been deceived. Yes, this object still exists. Maybe we can, maybe, or does it? Does this object really exist? So you see where he's getting, uh, but do you see where he's getting? Yeah. You, you can't, I'm sure, if you argued with Descartes long enough, maybe get him to think, uh, to, to admit that <coughs> some concept exists. But does that actually exist in reality? 
do you know that any real three-sided figures exist? At that point, we've just reduced it to thought. And thought is really going to be the major issue here. But well spotted nonetheless. Let's take this, I'll just change this here. Three sides. When in reality, they have four. Now again, I want you to understand that Descartes is not trying to suggest that this evil genius actually exists. Some people, after first reading, it's like, what? He's trying to convince me that, that there's some all-powerful deceit? What? Does he, does he talk about the devil? Well, no. That's not what he's getting at here. He's just trying to propose something that is logically possible, though, albeit not very likely, something logically possible to find some sort of hypothetical situation that could cause him to mount without math and geometry. Now, in this hypothetical reality, we've tossed out what you can hear, what you can smell, what you can see, touch, taste, and any sort of logical principle he's deduced. What have you got? Logic and math are out. Senses are out. What are you down to? Thoughts. Can I doubt that I exist? I don't exist. Wait, I had an I in there. I don't, wait, no. Every time I come back to I don't exist, I cannot be deceived into thinking I don't exist because I'm still the one thinking it. Does that make sense? Because I think, I know that I exist. That is where he makes his metaphysical and epistemological statement, I think, therefore I am. He tries to doubt his own existence. He tries to doubt his existence, but cannot. He tries to exist, uh, doubt his existence, but cannot. The statement I doubt I exist is a logical contradiction. The fact that I think, think this thought, ensures my existence. The fact that I think this thought ensures my existence. So he makes the statement, I think, therefore I am. Therefore, I am. This statement is actually profoundly influential for modern philosophy. Modern philosophy is often tied, or, tied up with what do I know, what exists, what is the I, what is the ego, not Lego my ego, what is the ego, not in terms of, terms of Freudian psychoanalysis or anything of that sort, what is this self, what is my me. At this point, Descartes has identified the ego, he's identified the I, he's identified the me as a thinking thing. 